today we will hear member statements from the honorable members for the districts of Exploits, uh, Mount Sayo, uh, Humber Bay of Islands, Mount Pearl Southlands, and Fairyland. Uh, the honorable member for Exploits. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, this is the, this year the Exploit Search and Rescue are enjoying 38 years of service in central Newfoundland. The Exploit Search and Rescue serves a vast area, including Arbor Breton to the south, Glenwood to the east, west to Badger Lake, and all points in between. This is a volunteer organization that are ready to serve distress calls at any time in any conditions. Since 1982, they have responded to well over 250 missing people's in, in, uh, situations. On an average, they respond to 15 to 20 calls per year. This group consists of members from all across the Exploits District and beyond. Mr. Speaker, I would like for all members to join me and congratulate the Exploits Search and Rescue on their 38 years and thank them for their service. The Honourable the Member for Mount Sio. Mr. Speaker, today I would like to recognize the new Kenmount Terrace Community Garden and congratulate the volunteer organizers on their collaborative neighbor neighborhood okay. initiative. This is the inaugural growing season for the Community Garden. Located at the new Kenmount Terrace Community Center, applications are currently being accepted for one of 10 gardening plots, including one raised bed for those with limited mobility. Organizers implemented thoughtful and helpful amenities, such as a composting area, barrels to collect rainwater, and a COVID-19 safe gardening plan, very important. Community gardens provide many benefits outside improving access to local produce. They promote sustainable agriculture, create new habitats, and strengthen community ties. The volunteer committee has big plans for next summer, including adding more plots and building a communal tool shed. I wish residents of Kenmount Terrace a productive gardening season, and I ask all members to join me in thanking and congratulating the organizing committee, including Chelsea Pike, Chris Follett, Jermaine Manners, Mercy Windsor, Nadara Walsh, and Wanda Waterfield. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honorable the Member for Humber Bay of Islands. Mr. Speaker, on May 22nd, 2020, Cormac lost another proud Second World War veteran. A family lost a father, grandfather, and a great uncle. Mr. Robert Gordon Grant passed away after a brief illness just after one month shy of his 101st birthday. Mr. Grant was born in St. John's on June 22, 1919. He was a proud member of the 166th Newfoundland Regiment, Royal Artillery, serving in England, North Africa and Italy during World War II. He was a longtime member of the Royal Canadian Legion Branch 13, a member of the Masonic Order, a member of the Lodge Loman in Cornerbrook and Lodge Humber in Deer Lake. Mr. Grant will be remembered as a gentle soul who always took the time to speak with you. I met Mr. Grant as a young fellow from Curling, and he was always very witty. And when he met you, you could always feel the warmth, kindness, and friendliness. Last time I had the pleasure of speaking at Mr. Grant's 100th birthday celebrations. I ask all members to join me in extending our condolences to Mr. Grant's son, Ian, his family, his Legion family, and many relatives and friends. Stand down, soldier. Mission completed. You made this world a better place. Rest in peace. The Honourable Member for Mount Pearl Southlands. Mr. Speaker, it's my privilege to recognize an amazing gentleman from my district. After a tremendous career serving the people of Newfoundland and Labrador in senior roles within the public service, Gordon Slade was appointed to the executive roles at Memorial University, where his leadership was pivotal in helping to secure over $60 million in philanthropic and sponsorship funding for the university. His passion for this place, our people, and unique culture has been of great benefit to our province. He is the founder of the Battle Harbor Historic Trust, 
has been instrumental in the preservation and restoration of Port Union and has chaired the advisory committees for the Ryan Premises National Historic Site at Bonavista and the Red Bay UNESCO World Heritage Site. He's also been actively involved with the Shorefast Foundation on Fogo Island and helped develop key partnerships with governments, academia, and local residents to preserve local traditions and knowledge while developing an innovative model of sustainable development and growth of coastal communities. Gordon has received numerous awards for his labor of love over the years, which most recently included being named as a recipient of the Order of Newfoundland and Labrador. Please join me in both thanking and congratulating this amazing individual for his tremendous contributions to our province. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable the Member for Ferryland. I rise today in this Honourable House to recognise and congratulate the Anglican Church Women's Guild of Bay Bulls and 62 years of, as a successful organisation. This group organised an annual fall fair. This past November they held their 60th annual fall fair. The fall fair is a sale of homemade crafts and baked goods. This group organizes car games and is involved in the Babels, the Balleen Athletic Association's Winter Carnival each year as they host annual car game there as well, with lots of homemade desserts, cookies, sandwiches, coffee, and tea. They're always a great success. There are seven members to date with the Anglican Church Women's, including one founding member. The members of this group are Norma Mulcahy, Lynn Morey, Michelle Power, Donna Lynch, Darlene Williams, Thora Williams, and the last remaining founding member, Janie Weir, of 62 years. Mr. Speaker, I ask all members of this House to join me in congratulating the Anglican Church women on yet another wonderful and successful year. Thank you.